<laughs> okay. You can't see my pajamas. Oh, it's good. You ready? Yeah. Hang on. Just follow. Just follow my lead. <laughs> okay. going well so far. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very well. Today we have a very special guest with us. This is my sister Jade. Hi! <laughs> so before any of you ask how old we are and if we are twins, because that's something we get asked a surprising a amount. I'm two years older so I'm 24 and Jade is turning 22 next month. So as I said in one of my previous videos, Cameron and I have been isolating at my mum's house up here in the Lake District for the whole of lockdown, hence why I am here with Jade and we are able to make this video. Do, do, do. So as this is Jade's first video on my channel, we thought we would do a fun tag today. We thought this would be nice so that you can get to know her a little bit and get to know her reading tastes. The tag we're going to be doing is the Rapid Fire book tag. It was originally created by Girl Reading. I will leave the link to her original video down below. I keep twizzling in my chair. If you would like to see a video I have done in the past with our mum, I will leave that linked about so you can go and check that out. I will also leave links to videos that I have done with Cameron, my fiance, in the past as well so that you can go and check that out if you would like. I don't like all the hand movements. I know. You're very expressive. I don't actually think I talk like this in real life. I don't think you do. <laughs> so I guess before we start, you should just tell them a little bit about your reading taste. So I struggle with reading. I only learned to read when I was like 10 years old, so reading's always been a bit hard for me. So I've really got to love a book, I think, to be able to really commit to it. I just like something where I can really get involved with the characters Yeah, quite a bit. That's a big thing for me. Yeah, so we are big readers as a family as a whole, I'd say, like mum, yeah. me and you. You're a big reader as well, you just tend to read slower than me and mum. <laughs> yeah, and I tend to like to reread the same books over and over again. Like if I love a yes. book, I'm committed to that book. Okay, so the way this tag is going to work is I will fire some questions at you. They're usually just this or that, and you just have to answer as quick as you can. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not even doing it. Okay, here we go. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. <laughs> Do you feel nervous? A little bit. Okay. Question number one is ebook or physical book? Physical book. Yeah. Yeah. We don't actually have ebooks. No, we've never been an ebook family. Like even even me, I never ever read ebooks. Cameron reads ebooks sometimes, but definitely better like to have a physical book then. We have a lot of books in the house. Question two is paperback or hardback? Paperback. It's less clunky and so I feel like it is a shorter book so it's less intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually definitely true, isn't it? Hardbacks sometimes look way longer than they actually are. Don't really like long books, do you? It's a big task for me to pick up a book, so if it's a long one, it's extra hard. <laughs> I'll have to read a sentence probably three times over before it like, goes into my head. Yeah. Like, if you're doing that with a really long book, that's that's a lot to deal with. Question number three is online or in-store book shopping? In-store. Yeah. I don't really do online book shopping unless I'm doing a World of Books order, because it's second-hand and yeah. generally better. But I don't know, there's something really nice about being in a bookshop. Who can genuinely say that they enjoy online bookshopping more than in-store bookshopping? I'm not sure, I don't think it's a thing. I guess if you already know what book you want to buy, it's easier to go online and it's cheaper to go online sometimes. Yeah, that's but the thing, it's it not also fun. depends. Like, I'm an apprentice, I don't earn a lot of money. If I can find a book cheaper elsewhere, it's a great deal. <laughs> Why don't you tell them what you do? They might be interested. I am an apprentice uh, oh my. She doesn't know. I am an apprentice Riverlands officer with the National Trust, which means I am learning all about natural flood management and restoring rivers to their natural state. We have very different jobs. Yes, we do. <laughs> Question number four is trilogies or series? Series? I think yeah. series. I don't really know of a trilogy I've read. I'd go series over trilogies, but I usually don't commit to a series. You know, it's got to be very special to me to be able to like commit to yeah. that amount. Question number five is heroes or villains? Heroes. Oh that's such a cliche answer. <laughs> I like, I don't know, I really like villains. I really like their characters, mm. however I'm always more invested in the hero. I want them to win. The next question is a book that you want everyone to read. Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I love it! It's so good. Oh, a bit, of, a bit of context to yeah. the book. So it's by Mark Haddon. I don't want to give any spoilers away because Cam will tell me off. <laughs> the protagonist in the book is 
a autistic boy and it's kind of an adventure that he goes on. I think it's just really refreshing and I also think it's quite important to read books which are from different people with different viewpoints instead of just reading you know the typical protagonist over and over again. This is I can't help but feel a personal dig at me. It is, she's still not read it even though I've been going on for ages and neither has mum. <laughs> And it's really upsetting me because it's a great book. Yeah, no one's read it. Yeah, no, I really, I do mean to read this one. I know it's been a favourite of yours for a while. I do want to read it. I think I like it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I've got lots to read. The next question is recommend an underrated book. An underrated <laughs> book. That's quite a hard question to ask somebody who doesn't read tons and tons. Yeah, and I think for someone who's not in the book community as well, like, <laughs> I don't know what people think is underrated but I'm just gonna go for a book which hardly anyone will have read probably and it is a children's book and it's called Once and mm -hmm. it was the first book I fully managed to read. The first book I tried to read was Lizzie Zitbelf but I ended up <laughs> skipping like three or four chapters in it because I found it too long. <laughs> oh I love that book. <laughs> so yeah Once is uh, I can't remember who it's by. Morris Gleitzman. Once is a book by Morris Gleitzman and it follows a young Jewish boy in World War II and the kind of journey he goes on and it's the first in a series of four books. I read this one for the first time last year on Jade's yeah. recommendation and it was very very good. It was. It was really good. It was really sweet. It was really grim. Yes. It was really grim and uh, yeah, the characters are really good and it was really emotional for sure. I think that if you say it's a children's book, a lot of people might be like, oh, I'm not going to read that like I'm an adult. Mm. But it's still a really good book and it follows relationships between different people, which I think it portrays really, really well. It's just quite insightful as well, I think. I think there's actually a lot of people on booktube who really like children's fiction no, who would enjoy it. Go for it. Definitely go for it and let us know what you think. Next is, what is the last book you finished? I finished, uh, what was the last book I finished? I think it was Badgerlands. Was it? Yes, Badgerlands by, oh, where's it gone? I think I've moved it. Try that side. Where's it at? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Badgerlands. I've moved everything. I oh, know. Patrick Barkham. Badgerlands by Patrick Barkham, and that is a book from an ecologist I think he is. Basically delves into the world of badgers and their life and the ecosystems they live in and how they affect the ecosystems around them. So it's non-fiction? It's non-fiction yeah. I would recommend it if you are interested in animals or badgers. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Next question is the last book you bought. The last book I bought. I'm just gonna mm. repeat the questions back at me every time. I think the last book I bought was Badgerlands. Oh. And I bought like a bunch of ones. Otter Country by Miriam Darlington. This is another book quite similar to Badgerlands in it delves into the ecology of otters and their lifestyle and habits and yeah, their general life. <laughs> Badgers and otters. What more could you want? The next question is weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark? A <laughs> weirdest thing? <laughs> Probably coaster. A coaster? Yeah. If it's in just the, in the living room. Yeah, so when I've been reading recently, yeah. I've just kind of just slid a little coaster in there to, you know, keep track of my place. Fair enough. Okay, used books, yes or no? Yes. Yes. I think that's an easy answer. As much as I understand how sometimes you want a lovely pristine book if you're really, like, precious about it, yeah. I think that generally the more we can try and buy things secondhand, the better it is for the world and the planet, the world and the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, I, I agree. Top three favourite genres. Historical fiction, mm -hmm. fantasy, and what would like the Martian come under? Well, the Martian is actually sci-fi, but I don't think. I don't, uh, that's like the only sci-fi I've ever read. Like general fiction. General fiction. Or children's and, fiction. And YA as well. I really like YA. There we go. YA, fantasy, historical fiction. Do you like to borrow or buy books? I like to buy books, but I only like to buy books if, like, if I borrowed a book from you and I really liked it, I like to buy it so I've got it on my shelf. But, you know, if I can yeah. save a bit of money and just borrow the book off you, and then if it's, like, you know, okay, but I don't love it, then yeah, I've saved a bit of money. You're not, I? <laughs> you're not as much of a book collector as no, I am. Definitely. She doesn't care as much about having, like, a big library of books. Read the book and move on. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit nerve-wracking borrowing books from you in case I like, you know, 
increase this fine I'm not that bad anymore. Or... I did actually, I used to be so bad. Like, my books needed to look absolutely pristine. It's definitely part of my personality and definitely part of my OCD. <laughs> Couldn't break the spines at all when I was younger. Nothing could be even slightly damaged. It got to the point where if mum or Jade wanted to read any of my books, they actually bought their own copies, which is so terrible now. It's so terrible, but that's that's the way it was. Happy to say I've come a long way. Yeah, we're, we're definitely better with that. I actually break the spine of my own books now. Characters or plot? I think this is a difficult one. Oh, this is meant to be quick fire. I'm going characters. So mm. I have read um, literary fiction. Yeah. Tin Man. Mm. And I love Tin Man. I really enjoyed that. But I think that was quite rare for me in that I usually need yeah. much more of a plot to engage me. Yeah, you it. usually like plot driven fiction for sure. But that being said, when you're talking about why you like a book, I'm always talking, you're about, always the talking about the characters. Long or short books? <laughs> short. <laughs> This one's easy. Yeah, that is a no-brainer. Short, every single time. Long or short chapters? Short. Short. <laughs> if I sit down to read, so many people are gonna cringe at this, I give myself a goal to get to the end of the chapter, which sounds really bad. I actually think most people answer short chapters to this. I answer short chapters. Like, even people who like reading long books, having short chapters is really nice because it makes you feel as though you're making progress yeah. faster. Yeah. Okay. Dab off a bit. Sula. Oh, yeah. This has got to be a quick fire one. Okay. Name the first three books you think of. Jasmine. <laughs> Does that panic you? That's not fair, is it? <laughs> quick. Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time, Night Circus, and Once. Now try and say three you haven't already mentioned in this video. Night Circus. Yeah. Martian. Children mm, Act. That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> okay, name some books that made you laugh or cry. The book which made me cry ridiculous amounts yeah. was Molly and Me. Oh Flipping my god. Eggs. That is a tough <laughs> read. There was a lot of tears shed. Yeah, I actually didn't know if you were going to have an answer to this because you don't tend to cry at books much. No, I don't. Do but Molly and Me, that that's a whole new level. I wondered if Tin Man made you cry because it made me cry, but I don't think it did, did it? I don't think it did. I definitely got emotional, but yeah. I don't think I actually cried. How about a book that made you laugh? What made me laugh? The Rosie Project made you laugh? The Rosie Project was good. The Rosie Project. That is a laugher, I think. I actually still haven't read that one either. I've got recommendations from you and from my friend Alex as well, so I know I'd like that one. I only read it in the first place because Alex recommended it, I think. And you kind of passed the recommendation on to oh, me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. And it's a good read. I'll tell him that. Do you prefer our world or fictional worlds? Fictional worlds. I think if I'm going to read a book, I, a lot of the time, like it to be an escape. Yeah, you like magical worlds, like yeah. in the Night Circus. I guess even The Martian to some extent, which is kind of one of her favourite books, which is why we keep talking about it. <laughs> I mean, it's technically our world, but it's in space. But then again, that isn't always true. Like, a lot of the books you really like, like, you really like Tin Man, you really like Ari and Dante, and... Most of the books I read are... Curious Incident. I think that's partly because I've not found many fantasy books. You should read City read. of Brass. I know, I just find them so scary. Yeah, I know. They're I really think, good, though. You'd like them. I think entering into a fantasy world, to some extent, is a big commitment. They can be intimidating. Yeah. Just wait till all the paperbacks come out. The next one's easy. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes. Love audiobooks. Yeah, we're both big audiobook readers. It's just so nice. You can just be getting on with your own things. You can be driving around. You can be doing some cooking, going to sleep. Yeah. You just have an audiobook there in the background. We both listened to a lot of audiobooks when we were younger, and our mum listens to audiobooks as well. There's definitely times when we have like three different audiobooks playing around the house yeah. <laughs> at the same time. I'm smashing this. Doing good. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes. I do. And I'd like to say that in actual judging actual books, not like the metaphor. I think it just gives you quite a lot of insight a lot of the time into what the book is going to be about and what kind of yeah. style it's going to be. Yeah, it's hugely important as well. I mean, books are not just stories. Books are commodities, like, <laughs> you know. And I also think I just, I really enjoy like a beautiful book cover. Yeah. Like when you bring some books home and 
They're just yeah. really pretty. Yeah, especially since working in publishing, I just appreciate book design so much more as well. Do you prefer book to movie or book to TV adaptations? Probably book to movie because that's what I've seen. Yeah, I was going to say. I don't really know what book to series I've read and watched. Like I've watched some of the series but without having read the books. Yeah, like normal people. Normal people. The only one I can think of is a series of unfortunate events that you've read some of. Yes. I just think that if I love a book, I'm always going to love the book more than the film or the TV series. Well, funnily enough, the next question is a movie or TV show you preferred to its book? Hmm. If you say Little Women, I will cry. So she's reading Little Women at the moment because she loved the film. I did. The book's going well, it's just taken a while. I'm gonna say Jungle Book. Yeah. I have read the Jungle Book and I found it quite hard. And then, you know, it's a classic Disney film. Obviously, it's a bit different, you know, it's not an exact... Yeah. Copy, yeah, no, that's a good shout. That's a good answer. Jungle the book. Disney film is good. And the final question is series or standalones? Unless it's an incredible series, I'm going standalones. Yeah, as a rule. Yeah. We did it. Woo! We did it. So there we go. We are done. Smashed it. How do you think I did? You did all right. Yeah? Yeah, you did all right. You answered as I thought you would, to be honest. I just realised it. I don't think the film is better than the book, but I think they're very much even on a level playing field for me. Boy in striped pyjamas. I think oh, okay. the film adaptation of that is incredible. Mm. I think they did an amazing job with that. Powerful stuff. I think they're pretty even. I think at this point we're just trying to name all of the books that you remember reading, aren't we? <laughs> I've read more books. I'm all bookshelf behind me, full of your books. Yeah, so we are actually in Jade's room right now. This is where I've been filming since I've been here and I've just kind of filled it with my books. I think Jasmine might have brought more books home with her for lockdown than I actually own. Although a lot of them are Cameron's as well. I actually did get a compliment. I didn't tell you from uh, someone who commented on my videos. They said my bookshelves were really, really nice and I took it. I took you took the compliment. <laughs> yeah. They're mine. Filled with Jasmine's books mostly, but they are my bookshelves. Okay, so that's going to be it for today then. Thank you very much for joining me on my channel. Thank you for having me. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Be nice to Jade. Say hi to her down below in the comments. I'm sure she will really, really appreciate it. Everyone was so nice when my mum came on the channel and she really, really liked that. So thank you in advance for being nice. And now the only other person left to do a video with is... Dad. Dad. Dad looking at you. He's just gonna name the same author over and over and over again. <laughs> James Patton. Thanks so much for watching everyone. As always, we hope you're all doing really, really well and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye. Bye everyone. <laughs> next is... <laughs> <sighs> Here we go again. Third time lucky. Cooper. Cooper's. Little bit. Oh, do can... Couple next door, not worth talking about. <laughs> Did this on my first date with Isaac. We kept trying to hold hands in the cinema, but then we both kept having to let go and like slyly rub our hands <laughs> on our trousers because they were getting clammy. Question number four. <clears throat> should, we, should we start on from the top? No. Okay. The last book I read. Oh, looking at myself. Want to try that again or? Yeah. Come closer. Right, not that close. Why does your head look so much smaller than mine? <laughs> I don't know if I like it. Yes, yeah, sir. Mate. Hope you keep that in. I'm not keeping that in. <laughs> no, no, it's good for me. Maybe it thinks you're me. Wouldn't be the first time someone's got that confused. Smash that.